Hi friends, it's me, Simply Sherry. I give you weekly tips and tools for organizing, prepping, and travel. So subscribe to get your life organized. I'm now in my kitchen, and today I'm gonna to show you an updated fridge tour and give you some tips. All right, so I'm just gonna open this up. I found this fridge on OfferUp, and the good thing was that the guy took out my old fridge and he delivered and installed this. Let's start here in the middle. Okay, so the reason I labeled and maybe you want to label is because it just helps me think more quickly. All right, let me pull out this container from the home edit at the container store. Of course, you can use any container that you want. This is the cover and this actually holds one, two, three, four, five times three, 15 eggs. But then on top, I can put them kind of in between and it still closes completely, okay? The nice thing about these particular containers is that they stack. And so whatever container you get, um, make sure that they are stackable because that's going to save you space in your refrigerator. And they slide in very easily. So I can have it go all the way back there. You could see that it's off to the side a little bit, but that allows me to fit everything on this shelf. All right, for this container, I think it was like the large um, bin. It doesn't come with a lid. It has this little thing here to have a divider, but I've taken out the divider. And so this one is a uh, bread. I usually like to have pita bread or um, tortillas or non bread. And then this is just a bread from the Asian store. I just like how perfectly they fit. Now, what I do want to add is when you're um, looking for containers, the thing I liked about this was that it's very straight. Okay. Some containers, they will have this top part go out a little bit, but that little bit can make all the difference. If you have three of those little bits, it's going to become a lot bit, right? <laughs> okay, here my butter dish. So I just got a new butter dish. This is from Amazon. I'll link it below. I'll link everything below, even the ones from the container store. This particular one came with a knife. This is bamboo on top. So you can see it fits a Kerrygold, Finlandia, you know, those bigger blocks of uh, butter. And then it has this uh, seal around and I love it. So you could take it directly from the fridge and serve it. Okay, over here we do uh, have vegan butter. And then up here, this is just extra for this week because uh, I was making steak and this is garlic butter. And then this one is perfect, okay? So this one, the bottom one I got from, I believe, I M Design and the top one is I Design, both on Amazon, but they're the exact same thing. This particular container, it the lid opens up like that and it has this kind of look on top, which I like, you know, it has a different, just a different look. Um, the edges are inside, so, and they're stackable, if you notice that, but you can use this in the pantry. So you can see I have two of them. One is for the carry gold, and you can see that it could fit four. And so it won't stack another one up there. And then the second one I have is for the baking butter. And you could see that it fits eight, nine, 10. Again, it fits, slides in there perfectly. Okay, over here, I always have noodles on hand. This particular container, you can see it has the divider. Luckily, it fits my noodle packages exactly perfectly. Uh, this one says dough, and I always have crescent rolls for biscuits. These are great to add to your dinner for breakfast on the weekends. Again, I put it up here. It's off to the side a little bit, but you can't really tell and it just fits perfectly there. And then here it says Asian and because these are kind of my Asian sauces. Curry paste. Okay, if you're Filipino, alamang guisado, it's a shrimp paste, ginger, gochujang. Okay, and look, <laughs> I mean, these could not have fit more perfectly. On to dairy. This can fit six Chobani yogurt this size. In the back, I have the cheese, and in the front is the yogurt. This container I got from my uh, grocery store, and it's perfect to fit my borsen. This is actually a cream cheese container. You could get this on Amazon. And then I just keep the... Um, cheese packets in here, cheese slices. 
Okay, spinach, we always have spinach. This particular container is the one that has this thing here. It's for supposedly fruits and veggies. All right, so as I'm sharing with you how I'm organizing my fridge, I want you to think about your fridge. What are the things that you use on a weekly basis, a two week basis? Are there particular things that you get more of on a, a certain week and how would you arrange it for that week as opposed to the week before? Okay, and so these are strawberries. These are red grapes. Again, it says fruit on the front. These are half size containers and you see they're the same length together as the, the full size container. These are my olives, capers, pickles, and I just have them in these uh, mason jars. This is deli, and this is not a lid, it's a drawer. So it opens this way, okay? And so this is where I keep deli meat, pepperoni when we make pizza, and I love it. I love how it just opens, and then I can look what's inside. Then this is our bacon drawer. Yes, we always have bacon. Okay, this section is meat. So these are part of the meals that I'm going to make for the week. And then this one says tofu. I used to have one that said vegan, but we mainly just have tofu and miso soup. Again, it's a drawer. All right, this drawer is for veggies. Usually I pull it out like this, but obviously you can pull it all out to clean it. So this week I'm making some mushroom and tomato pasta. This container you could get anywhere. I just put my half onion there. And this same container, this holds the red uh, ch chilies. Here are mushrooms. And then this one is very good. I like it. It's uh, by Rubbermaid. It has this thing at the bottom to lift it up so it doesn't get wet. And then these are jalapenos. I got this from the Asian store. And this week uh, with the pasta, we're having romaine. And these are power greens. All right, so it looks like this. All right, this side meals. Okay, this is the thing that has been a game changer for my fridge organization is to have one particular spot just for meals. This particular week, uh, actually tonight, I have a few friends coming over and it's just going to be just like um, salsa and fruit and I think chips and hummus. So I kept these in here for now because that's the meal. I'm serving the strawberries, I'm serving chips and salsa, I'm serving grapes, and then here's the, the hummus. It helps me remember that's what I'm serving for tonight. These are things that we can use for a meal, like radish if I'm making um, Korean barbecue, and then I have some miso that we need to finish up, and we've had this forever, rice cakes. Now, if I need space and I'm not making this for a meal this particular week, I can just fit it in here. So you can see there's still space up here for you to fit stuff. All right, let's move on to the door here on the right. And I have dressings, jams and dips, and condiments. These containers are OXO. They are the large size, I'll link them below. And these are all my dressings. This is a balsamic vinaigrette. And what I've done is I've just labeled it at the bottom for uh, using my label maker, Creamy Caesar Italian dressing. This one here in the back is my favorite champagne. This is garlic vinaigrette. And so you can see that it has uh, numbers there, you know, measurements. This thing opens like this. Okay, you could do it one hand. And then you just pour it in and you do it and you close it like that. And it has this rubber grip right here to help hold it better. It's really, I love this product. Okay, this one jams and dips. These are strawberry preserves and these are wild blueberry preserves. And this one kind of got washed, I mean wiped off, but it's tzatziki and I put the date. This container I got from my grocery store, Simply Done. Let me see if it's on Amazon and I'll put it there. And so 1.7 cups, it's a round container. And then this one is hummus. And the other one is mousse and it fits the container perfectly. All right, condiments. This one is just mayo. This is J Japanese mayo. This particular size, the 32 ounce is perfect in here. They didn't have the sweet relish that size at my grocery store. So I got this one but it, it fits in there, it's great. And then these are containers from OXO and they are particularly for sauces. They have measurements here at the bottom, I've labeled it. So this is soy sauce. This one is the sweet chili sauce. This is uh, Asian dressing I got from the Japanese store. And this one is lechon, which is a roasted 
a whole roasted pork and that's the sauce we use for it look how nicely it all fits okay you could actually take this whole shelf out and bring it to your table and serve it from there and then you could do the same thing with the dressings if you want different variety of dressings it's nice to have a uniform bottle and you could just take the whole shelf off bring it to the table take all the the containers out to serve it and then bring the shelf back here. Onto the left side, so the ice maker is here and then we have this. Basically, this is kind of like the spicy section. Here I have ginger, that's for sushi and wasabi. I have two types of salsa here, this particular one, and then this one is an open bottle. I still have the chili, the chili sauce here, and then I have pickles. I don't wanna throw them yet, I wanna use them up. Here's some mustard, caramel pudding, and then you could see how it stacks up nicely like that. Okay, and right down here is citrus. I make so many things using lemon juice. Then we got the lime, and then I think this is the grapefruit one, or blood orange. Then this final shelf in the upper part of my refrigerator is for snack. They're not really my snacks, but they're basically hard boiled eggs. And then these are mochi. And I put them into these reusable uh, Ziploc bags or re reusable sealable bags. And the reason for that is that's how I can put a lot going vertical and contain them. So he knows this is one category mochis, this is one category hard boiled eggs. All right, so let's move on to the drawer. This th drawer is only for leftovers. The other thing it's for is that when I'm having a party or guests, I can use this for more stuff that I'm preparing for the party. This is here, the onions, cilantro, and tomatoes because I was gonna make some fresh salsa to mix with the other salsa for my guests tonight. And then we have a small container here, Snapware also, someone had made us some green salsa. These are glass, so I prefer the glass. I got rid of most of my plastic stuff. And you can see I just label it. I put the date of what the food is. Those were dumplings, chicken 365, Misahi chicken. Okay, we got tacos there. Chicken tikka, 710. And this is my starch. Okay, so mac and cheese. We have some garlic fried rice there. This one is broccoli rice. These are sardines. You could see them stack this way. So look at that, that's perfect. Um, I can double up. And this particular fridge, you could choose the temperature, meat, fish, wine party dishes, deli snacks. I keep it at cold drinks for the leftovers. I've done it before at meat, fish, and it was just a little bit too cold. you enjoyed this fridge tour and tips let me know in the comments below what tips you can implement into your fridge organization and I'll see you in the next one bye